Now please let me know in the comments down below what would you do in this situation. You have an enemy you used to call your nemesis and you have a frenemy that's, well, very weak. Um, now I listened to those voices in my head and let them dictate what I did. One said go for Garrix because, you know, he's your total enemy and the other one said slap them both. You know, start on the weakest and then get the other one. You can't go wrong that way. You know, if you get both of them, it's fair. So that's what I did. Um, yeah, which Selfish said it was nice to see us teaming up with Garrix. Now, Commander Selfish the One and his uh, apprentice, always two there are, um, have been coming after me in Seoul while I've been pirating. Um, you know, uh, Commander Selfish the One, or Captain Gaslighter as he is known, um, is or would like you to know that he's a lawful commander and the leader of Brown Nugget Mining. Now, I've been fighting him and his apprentice on a regular basis, and generally that means either he leaves or I leave, and um, ultimately, you know, we've had some smash up battles, we've had some, you know, uh, periods of time where I've had to do a quick getaway, generally in my pirate ships because. <laughs> You know, my pirate ships are a bit weaker than my combat ones. But, like, you know, I tend to, you know, he tends to have a good chance of killing me. Um, he jumped my, his is my weakest escape recently. Absolutely bad in my pirate crate. But uh, he came after my uh, Cobra in uh, Shinra Desra. I, I put up a decent fight, but I ended up heading to the station on 25% hull. Um, to be honest, the amount of damage that I'd done, I was pretty proud of my little shieldless cobra by the end but you know he's been chasing me out i've been chasing him out there's been a backwards and forwards so um yeah when i jumped into an instance and saw him and garrix fighting and he was very weak uh, i decided to go for him first and then maybe turn on garrix afterwards because you know what better way to be a pirate than to try and steal garrix's kill selfish saw this is me and garrix teaming up but you know I had no desire to team up with Garrix, but there's Garrix, he's got two rings of shields left and a 92 hull. And there's Selfish with his shields down and, what was that, how much hull? You can see, I think you can see why I made my decision. Um, you know. And, uh, yeah, I, my, my belief was, you know, if I get Selfish before Garrix can, you know, Selfish would prefer to die to me than Garrix, I think. Maybe, I'm not sure actually. Probably prefer to die to Garrix, but uh, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I was actually really disappointed. It's his own fault. He builds very, very tough ships. Um, so uh, yeah, I hit him there and knock him to zero percent hull, and I'm like, yeah, that's my kill. Yeah, he die, blow up, die, die. He's not died. This is a problem. Uh, will he not die? Can you not just blow up and die? before Garrix hits you and I think then Garrix gets the final hit uh, which was annoying but you know Sailor V I tried my best I did get the hit that put him down to zero but I didn't quite do enough to kill him and then of course it's a matter of turning on Garrix which is not a problem I mean it's 3v1 and he's already weakened so it's just a matter of time before Garrix tries to escape and that's pretty much that uh, I'm you sure he's not keen on phasing in an FDL. FDLs don't tend to have that much armor. Um, I don't know how he runs his with the banks, but he's a 5 PA build. Um, he has very strong shields. I would presume he's got a couple of banks, but maybe he's only got one set. I honestly don't know. But yeah, fa phasing in FDLs is you know, something they don't normally like. Uh, there's a certain meta build out there that only had 600 hull for a long time uh, which is why my phasing mamba got built uh, with all gimbaled phasing because like 600 hull is just asking for someone to shoot you with phasing really um, and honestly over the years I, I've tangled with Garrix enough to know that he will most likely escape he is very good at escaping last second he's very good at running away um, and evading death he knows what he's doing, he's no mug, and he is a pretty decent combat pilot. You know, some people get offended if I compliment his piloting skills too much. However, I'm happy to say that he's a better pilot than I am. Uh, you know, he does die way more often than I do, but then he's happy to sit there in a 3v1 
and actually entertain it. Whereas back in the day, if IED jumped me 3v1, I would just wake out as quick as possible. I'd probably, I did occasionally mess around with them, try and pick check round one. Uh, that was always good fun because they were so eager to go for the chase that you might be able to catch one on a real, a really hefty ram uh, as before you leave. And I did that a few times. So, you know, I would generally only stick in a 3v1 or, you know, if I'm outnumbered, if I'm confident the pilots there are way worse than me. So, uh, I wouldn't say Garrix is the greatest opinion of my piloting skills, to be honest. But in this case, yeah, I didn't manage to kill Selfish and um, Garrix managed to get away. So, you know, I mean, it wasn't the most successful trip, but at least Selfish died. So, yeah, I'll take consolation in that. Um, he's been hunting me down, chasing me down for ages. And he does say that he's a lawful commander. So, you know, uh, it's nice to see where lawfuls get killed. Anyway. That's all for me talking on this one. I'll leave you the final bit of uh, uh, Lord Garrick's vacating and say that's all. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. And uh, there we go, hyperdrive engaged. Bye bye to Garrick's. Yeah, he didn't hang around too long on this one. That's all. Thank you very much for watching.